Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am blasting you with some major motivation. Last year, I decluttered my way to Christmas, just like I'm trying to do this year, and declutter my way through the holidays. So I am throwing you back to last year when I did this, and you loved it so much, and just giving you some major motivation to declutter all the areas of your house, including the toys, because I know that's a big one right now if you have kiddos. And I know some of you guys are really wanting that Christmas decoration. I have not decorated yet, but there is some of that in this video because I have compiled four videos. It's over two and a half hours of just all cleaning motivation, decluttering, organizing all the things we love all in one place, all in one video. You can stop and go as you please. Throw it in the background while you are working on decluttering an area in your home. And then I am working on a decluttering kind of a 30-day challenge guide that I'm going to use for myself. Share it with you guys. It'll be completely free. If you want it, great. If you don't, that's totally fine too. And then I will see you guys back here next week for a fresh brand new video. And don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And you guys enjoy the motivation. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a Christmas clean and declutter with me as I try to declutter and organize my way into Christmas. Are you feeling overwhelmed as we enter this holiday season? Because if you are, you are very much not alone and in good company because I am right there with you. So my hope for today is that this video gives you a lot of encouragement as well as the motivation you need to tidy up or declutter in your home. And my other hope is that you leave this video feeling encouraged and uplifted and not alone in your overwhelm. I know this time of year can be very crazy and stressful and your to-do list feels never ending. So let's slow down, take a deep breath and just work side by side today to help get our space just feeling even 1% better than it did when we started. We've got this friends, so let's get to it. Today, I just want to start out giving you guys a really good overview of starting point for my house. This is the state of our kitchen counter, which is not bad at all. This is actually kind of nice. <laughs> I would love to get in here. This is our little appliance garage, and I don't know if you can see, but it needs, like, I haven't cleaned in this thing in a very, very long time, so it needs to be everything pulled out and cleaned up. I am very much feeling the need to clean and declutter. And I'm sure you guys are like, what on earth? <laughs> this came out of my husband's garden. This is the biggest. I mean, can you see the size of this? This is the, this is more of like a, a decent size sweet potato here. I mean, are you seeing the size <laughs> of this thing? And some of them are pretty gross looking. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to spare you. And then you get little baby ones. I mean, look at this. This thing is the biggest sweet potato I have ever seen in my entire life. But anyways, we've just got little, couple little things around here. Nothing major. Just some things that need to be tidied up. Honestly, the state in my kitchen is not half bad. I really need to get in these baskets and go through them, but that's not number one on the priority list. Um, some more laundry in here. And... I think I'm gonna start my robot vacuum and get it working for me. Just little messes, nothing bad, but I just kinda wanna share the state of it. Sometimes my house is not that bad, and then I don't know why this just becomes the dumping ground. I have not put my stockings up yet because last year at someone else's house, my son, my youngest, pulled one of these off of the mantle, and they've got one of these, these heavy, these are super heavy and it, it was one like this at someone's house and he pulled it off and it hit him in the eye 
and face and it chipped his tooth and gave him a black eye. So that is why our stockings are not up yet. I'm scared to put them up this year, so I may not put them up until Christmas Eve. So that is why they are sitting in here. This is kind of like the Christmas staging zone. I'm saving all boxes at this point for wrapping. Need to put Turkey Tom away. We got this from Chick-fil-A on our traveling. They just handed it to so just lots of stuff in here. Our little blow up tree is not working. So not that you guys care about all the inner workings of all that's happening in here, but this has become a drop zone. So we've got to get all that handled and then I will take you guys upstairs. This is doing pretty good. Um, a few little things needed to be tended to right here. But that's kind of the state of the downstairs. So let's head upstairs and then we're gonna get started. I need to get in here today, declutter some of my littlest toys that he is outgrowing so we can make room for a couple of things coming in at Christmas. Just a quick little tidy up. I vacuumed everybody's room right before we left, so I don't think I'm going to vacuum today. My daughter really does an amazing job of just, she makes her bed every single morning, so I'm going to leave her room alone. And y'all saw last week's video, we decluttered her closet, my son's room. He, this is him, he cleaned his room. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I am just going to try and work with him a little bit. It's a work in progress with him. That's, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, the bathroom needs some tidying up in here. I just, I'm going to sit down and think about what I want to start with first, what's most important, and go from there. And then, and here's not too terrible. I actually have my bags unpacked for the most part so this needs to really be tackled and then our bathroom I cleaned the shower really good before we left just a couple things out here just just wanted to show you the state of our house that's it like I like to be real and honest and show you that it is not always in perfect order it's not a complete disaster sometimes it is Right now it is not, and so I just need to start tidying things up and doing some things to prepare for Christmas with some decluttering of toys, and that definitely has to happen when Dallas is not here, so I definitely have to have that on the top of my list today.
it never ceases to amaze me the amount of laundry that five people can accumulate. And funny thing about this is I had my laundry completely caught up before we got in the car, but yet I knew leaving <laughs> there was still going to even be some clothes from like switching out of pajamas and things like that. And this is just me getting caught up after being gone for a couple of days traveling. Laundry is the gift that keeps on giving <laughs> always all year long. <laughs> I always think of the Christmas vacation movie when I use that quote, and I use it a lot. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas vacation, what is your favorite Christmas movie that you love and look forward to watching year after year, or do you have several? I know our family, we love The Grinch. I talked about that in a video before. Um, me and my husband, we love to watch Christmas Vacation. I love uh, Christmas at the Cranks, The Holiday. Some of these are my favorites, not always my husband's favorites, but Christmas Vacation is always one of the first ones we watch. Home Alone, I love Home Alone 1 and 2. I don't like any of the others. I, I heard there's like seven or eight of those. I don't know how that is even possible, but Home Alone is definitely one we like to watch as well. Let me know in the comments below, what are your go-to first movies? you cannot wait to watch every year and you never get tired of watching them.
two of my big toy declutters are before birthdays and Christmas. So I am getting in here and just doing my yearly declutter of toys before the Christmas influx of new things happens. Those are going to downstairs. This is some donations. Got some more out here. Couple things are trash. And then these over here are, they don't think he plays with them, but keepsakes for, for their memory bins. Now I'm gonna go through this little tote here. Some things up here. This is a keepsake bin, and there were some donations for books there. Got that out. This side is just a lot lighter. I'm gonna think on these toys, and we just got some blocks, uh, just some little puzzles for toy rotation. Just a couple of things in here. I mean, no, not a couple, but this is the bulk of his toys for toy rotation. Just started putting them in this bin. Handful of things in here, not much. And then I put a toy, camera died, but I put a couple of toys out here. Then he's got his normal little stuffed animal bin, books. This whole thing is full of stuffed animals. And then there's just a couple of toys in each of these bins. Just little random things. And then I've got some clothes to put away. I went through this, this is very light. This is just kind of a little bit more of overflow. Bunch of dinosaurs and things I'm not sure we may get rid of though. And let's see. This is all donations. I'm getting rid of all of the stuff, books and everything. These are toys he does not play with for sure. And so I'm gonna bag all of this stuff up. And then there's just a handful of things down here at the bottom that he grabs for that I didn't want, you know, they don't always have to be out, but he's welcome to come in here and get them. Just trying to keep things light and also see what he plays with. another day and I am on an extreme time crunch. I have all my kids out in their programs today for just a short time because I have to go get my littlest first and I don't have a lot of time because I really need to be editing this video to go out for you guys and it has been a week coming back from Thanksgiving and travel then we've had sickness and I need to have more hours in the day than possible today. So. I have a mess behind me, but I need to go upstairs and disinfect my kids' bathroom real bad, but I, I need this to be a little bit better. So I am using the power of timers. I am setting it for 10 minutes, and I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes, and I'm literally, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna stop after 10 minutes, and I'm not gonna do any more, so I'm just gonna see how far I can get tidying up my kitchen real quick for 10 minutes that'll make me feel better and then I need to head upstairs do my kids bathroom just do a quick disinfect of the surfaces I'm not even going to do like a deep clean or anything like that disinfect and then I have to stop and I need to get on my computer I'm getting ready to hit start on my timer so if you're like me and on a time crunch today timers are an extremely useful tool they work for me so well maybe they will work for you so if you don't have a lot of time 
however much time you have today, I need 10 minutes, that's all I can do, then set a timer and let's see if we can tidy up a space, your kitchen, a bathroom, whatever it is. Give yourself just 10 minutes and it will be in better place than when you started. Even if you can't do everything, 10 minutes is better than nothing. Five minutes, whatever it is you have. So I'm going to start my timer, start your timer, and let's do this together. Ready? Here we go. Also, tips I always share. Get that music going and get your candle going or your essential oils, whatever it is. Get something that helps you. Get you a good glass of cold ice water, coffee, whatever you need, and let's get going. Time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. I don't know. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have to disinfect this counter and then I'm gonna stop and I will show you kind of where we're at here in a second, but I am gonna disinfect this, so that's gonna probably be another couple minutes and then I, I will move on to the next thing. I know it for sure, just thought I should let you know, now, no one's so mono. I got so high on a low, that's when I love you the most, now I thought I should let you know, now, no more, we don't know. No us no more, we don't know. No us no more, we don't know. No us no more, no no. Oh my gosh! Do this. Get that last little bit out. I'll be able to. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, I cannot get that open. I just finished this. This is microban. I like using this. It seems to do a good job. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back and wipe it down, but I need to disinfect. We don't want it, this virus or any, any illnesses passing through the house, which it tends to do with five people in the house, especially three of them being the kiddos. So I'm gonna let this sit, work its magic, and I will be back in just a second. I, I am the queen of multitasking. I know other mamas, you guys are this, probably the exact same way as me. While that is disinfecting, I know it's over my 10 minutes, but I'm going to wipe down this bathroom as well. Like I said, I'm just trying to disinfect. I don't want illnesses spreading from kid to kid to person to person. So I'm going to wipe this bathroom down, give it a quick little disinfect with my wipes because I'm out of my spray down here. I think I have some upstairs. And then we will move up to the bathroom as soon as I wipe down the counters. I am in a rush if you can't tell, but I'm trying to just maximize my time. So let's get to disinfecting. We are who we are Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color around us We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do We shouldn't care about anyone Or anything that brings us down So come on now, let's be free Just 
just keep on doing what you do, 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 doing what you like to, what you like to do, do what you like, do what you like to, what you like to do. To express yourself in your own way And we could have some fun No problems coming in our way I will like you just the way you are And you will like me just the way I am And I will like you just the way you are The way you are all right, notice I didn't do the floors or anything, but I just disinfected all the touch areas as well as the toilet. Put a new little bowl, one of my scrubbing bubble bowl cleaners in there. Didn't do the floors, wiped down all of the uh, doorknobs, light switches, and now we're heading back to the kitchen. What you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Do what you like to. What you like to do. Do what you like to. What you like to. What you like to do. Again, the good and the bad of the timer is once you get going, you don't want to stop, which is great, except when you're on a time crunch like me. So I have to stop. I'm going to put the my fruit bowl back on here. I'm going to go wash my hands. And then my clothes just went off, so that's perfect. I'm going to switch those and then head upstairs. Go upstairs. Okay. Huh. Just ran up the stairs. All right. Work cleaning and stuff. That's another perk of it. Is it? It's a workout. I have been getting. I get so much workout in <laughs> cleaning my house. Anyways, again, this is not to make it look pretty or anything. This is more of like a surface disinfect. So I'm just gonna put things where they go real quick. But I'm literally just dis dis disinfecting the touch surfaces and probably their toilet and that is it. That is the main, my main concerns. Um, I'll wipe down their uh, bathtub as well, but this is needs to be as quick as possible because I have to start um, editing because I, I have to do a whole video in one day, which anybody who creates content <laughs> knows that usually is not, not just not how it goes with these types of videos, the kind that I create. So I've got a lot to do, but I am, I am committed and I am consistent with downloading, so I want you guys to get a video this week. So I am just going to disinfect real quick and I'm going to quit talking. <laughs>
smells good and it's strong, but it's disinfecting. So one other thing, one other thing I'm gonna do while that is disinfecting is I'm gonna go make my bed. So trying to use my time. That needs to set for just a little bit to really be effective. And now I'm gonna go, uh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna spray the toilet down real quick and then I'm gonna go make my bed. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard, I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard down. And there you have it. I have other things that can be done in my room, but they're not high on my priority list. So that was, I had plenty of time to disinfect. I was able to make my bed because that just makes my room feel better amongst the piles and things that I need to do. Most of this stuff is folded. It just needs to be put away. But again, not doing that today. So we are heading now back into my kid's bathroom to finish that up. And that is, that is it. I love to share these things with you guys because some days you can deep clean or do some more intense cleaning and other days it's just finding your top one, two, three things that'll make you feel better and that's all you need to do. If you have other things you've got to do and you can't spend all day cleaning, I may be a stay at home mom, but I can't spend all day cleaning every day. I have other things to do and I have, you know, this my work that I do on YouTube and all of the different things. I have stuff with my kids. So I don't spend all day every day cleaning and I wanted to encourage you guys with that is maybe someday it's just making your bed and that's all you can do. That's great. And then some days it's a surface clean, a disinfecting clean of your kid's bathroom. So do what you have time for, but don't feel bad when you don't have time to do everything every day. It's just, it's not possible. Don't put that heavy expectation on yourself because it's, it's just, it's perfectionism and it's too much and you cannot do that. You just simply can't. You have a life. You have kids. You have things going on. Do what you can do. So let's disinfect this bathroom and we're done. Oof. My hands are going to be dry. I know I should wear gloves. so much for watching today friends I know I tell you this week after week but I mean it from the bottom of my heart thank you for taking time out of your day to watch and I pray in return that you are getting encouragement and motivation from my videos and if you are hit that like button because that lets YouTube know you like my content and you want to see more of it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I would love to have you in our community this is a community we're building to uplift and encourage one another and to just let others know you're not alone in your struggles and your overwhelm. Motherhood especially is what I speak into on my channel because I know it is a thankless position a lot of times and a lot of the things you do feel like they go unnoticed but I'm letting you know I do notice. I know all you're going through and all that you do for that family that you love so dearly and just know that you are the exact person that your family needs and that you you're doing an amazing job and 
I know it can be overwhelming, but just take a step back and remember that you were put in that position. Nobody else was. You were, and you are doing an amazing job. Have a wonderful week. I cannot wait to see you guys again next week. When I turn out another video, we will probably be doing some more decluttering. Like I said, I'm trying to declutter my way to Christmas, so be, be on the lookout for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified when that video goes live. And, and until next week, friends, take care. final product again not focusing on perfection but just what needed to be done disinfecting needed to happen and that is what happened and now I am off to edit this video so I hope this encourages you guys today also use the power of the cleaning technology that is available to us I have robot vacuums I use upstairs downstairs it's just the technology that is out there that can help us these days is amazing I've got a fresh feeling bedroom except for a couple of things that need to be put away that maybe I can do later but if I can't get to it now that's okay so there you have it Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and in this week's video we are continuing to just declutter our way to Christmas. I talked about this in several videos before. We've decluttered in my youngest child's room with his toys. We've decluttered in my daughter's room. This is my middle child's room and we are starting the process in here today and we are just going in and getting things tidied up decluttering anything that I know I can. I want him along for part of this process, so not all of that got filmed, but we are just decluttering our way to Christmas, trying to get our house as light and feeling as good as possible as we head into the holidays because we know with Christmas comes more things coming into the house, and I am on a mission to just get our house feeling as decluttered as possible. I find that if I have a lot of clutter, even in my kids' rooms or all over the place, it truly does start affecting my mental state and I just, I don't like the way it makes me feel. And my home is pretty much my office. I'm a stay-at-home mama to three little ones and I just want our home to be our haven. And so that is my mission here lately and especially going into the holidays is to declutter our way right on into Christmas and into the new year. So that is what we are doing today. We are tackling two areas that I know all of you guys need to declutter in your home as well leading into the holidays so let's tackle it together get your decluttering pants on get your coffee in your system and let's tackle it now so my son cleaned his room this is his room clean which for him is good <laughs> um, but he has asked me to kind of help him again with some organization mainly here in this area so that's what we're gonna start trying to tackle today and try to declutter some toys um, and just get ready for the holiday season. As I said, we are decluttering our way to Christmas and we are in my middle son's room now. So here we go. I got this boy in my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be. He keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off my mind to be mine, to be mine. I ought to say, yeah, 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 yeah. 
You know I want him na 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 I'm out of saying yeah 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 I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts When it starts I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want If you want Now I can be a fighter Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts When it comes to decluttering, what are some things that you guys struggle with? Let me know in the comments below. I know we all have harsh struggles with decluttering, and I think each of us has different things we struggle with. For me, the first thing is I, I have to have the time and I have to be in the mood for it. There are certain moods, if I am not in the mood for it, I just I, I just it's like I'm hitting a wall and I cannot do it. So I have to have the mindset for it and so I've talked about this before but kind of scheduling it knowing in advance when I'm going to do it so I can kind of gear myself up that's one of my first steps for decluttering and then kind of just having a plan for what you want to happen with that decluttering project also another thing that I try to do is know that decluttering is a process and it may not be perfect it's never going to be perfect. Nothing is perfect, but it may not be perfect the first go round or perfect for what you're wanting, or it may not be the final product the first go round. It is a process. And like my son's room, especially some rooms are harder than others, I find, but my son's room is a constant process. And I think decluttering tends to be eventually you'll get where it's easier because you've decluttered so much and it's like a muscle that you, the more you do it, the more you use it, the stronger it gets and the easier it gets. Another tip I have for decluttering, and I've heard so many people talk about this, I study decluttering, I listen to podcasts, I read books, I, I don't know, I just find it fascinating. But one of the first things, like the first passes, is to go through and get rid of any obvious trash, whether that be broken toys, you know, literal trash, whatever that may be, make those decisions first. And that kind of gets the momentum going. And that's kind of what I am doing here is I was putting things together, like all the Legos together, but then I was going through and removing anything that didn't belong, that was broken, that was missing parts, that was trash, that was paper, that was trash, all of that kind of stuff. That's usually step one. Then I start grouping things together and then just kind of going from there. And sometimes I have to do it and take a step back away from it and revisit it at another time. These are just a couple of little tips for you that I use as I go through the decluttering process. It is a process. Remember that it is not going to be perfection ever and it is probably not going to be how you want it the first pass around and it doesn't have to be a perfect before and after. I think we have that in our heads that that's what we want to see is a perfect before and after picture and we may see that on these social media accounts, but remember that's not reality. And oftentimes that's not how it even turns out, but it's still so much better than it was. So don't strive for that perfect before and after, as long as it's better than it was and it's helpful for you or your family. I to sing, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna na, 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter.
getting ready to vacuum my son's room. I'm kind of at a stopping point. So my, my goal for today was to come in and over here kind of tidy it up and provide a little bit of organization. My son told me what he wanted out and so I created space for that. This is not done. This is kind of like a step one, phase one. <laughs> I'm going to let him come back in, make sure that's what he wants. And then that big bin down here this with the yellow lid, it's full of toys that I actually want to actively go through with him and make sure he wants to keep all of those. So we have not actually fully decluttered. I decluttered kind of that first round, you know, the trash, the McDonald's toys, the things that you know they don't play with, things that are broken, little missing pieces, just a lot of these kids have these little doodahs <laughs> and lots of them. So I kind of did that first round where I knew there were certain things I could just throw out. So we decluttered just a little bit. We're going to do this again. I'm hoping after my son gets home from school, he'll come up here and maybe we can go through and like actually declutter toys that are good for donations and move those out, go through some books and stuff. But I'm going to just make this room feel good. I think my baby's waking up. Make this room kind of feel nice and good so maybe he'll want to come in here and help me work. This is my child I struggle with the most with organization and everything. Even my my two-year-old is a little better with helping me clean up and stuff so I want him to be able to come in here and create and being creative and play and imaginative but he's overwhelmed so much by the toys because I think he gets too much out. So this may still even be too much. This is what he has requested. So we'll see. This is a work in progress, which I don't know if I'll ever get there in this room. Y'all have seen me. If you've watched me for any time, I, I struggle in this room. So this is, I do this all the time in here, especially. So anyways, I'm going to vacuum make it feel good, and then hopefully get back in here this afternoon with my son and really declutter and get some donations for the holiday season. ended up I went from doing all the bins across the bottom to kind of just making it a little more interesting we'll see how this works but I tidied up his books put some away pulled out all the seasonal books and just tried to make this a little easier to look at and hopefully now they will put the books back him is daddy <laughs> his daddy is guilty of not putting those books back <laughs> this is all of his art supplies it's a bit of a mess but I may have him go through that with me hopefully this afternoon. 
So we still just have a whole bin full of, there's art supplies and everything in there. These were a few of the big things he wanted out, this dragon, this truck, and then Legos. Instead of them sitting here, I thought it would be nice to keep them over here. So when he's done playing with them, he can just push them right there. He requested all of his um, dart guns to be out, which he doesn't have a ton. So I put those in there and then he still likes to do the dress up and this is all of his turtles and his Ninja Turtle weapons and stuff. So I put that all together. I'll ask him what he thinks about that. And then here are all of his like big action figures, Spider-Man, he's got several Spider-Man. All of these so I put all of those out my concern with all of this is that if he gets all of this out at one time it's still gonna be a huge mess and overwhelming for him to clean up so I'm gonna talk with him about that tonight I got my little one here who's up from his nap and then this final one is his Ninja Turtles so I put the truck in there because there was room and then all of his Ninja Turtles and all of the weapons. I just kind of put everything Ninja Turtle in here. So it has a home. It's not pretty on the inside, but it does have a home and maybe that will help him. Watch out, Dallas. Sugar. So that is, hold on, Bubba. That is kind of where it is sitting for right now. Like I said, I'm gonna work with him to see if he likes this or if he'll let me even thin it out a little more. And he's got, you know, that big tub of toys in there that I just, there's no way everything could be out. I mean, it's just overwhelming for him. He can't clean it up. So even if all of this is out, I know it will be overwhelming. So anyways, it's a work in progress, but this looks so much better. But I have done this a million times and it always ends up back the way it was. I just wish we could get rid of so many toys. Oh, and there was a tote full of puzzles and we put them back in this drawer where he can get out. It's not super organized, but he loves doing puzzles. So that is there. There was some stuff in here. There's nothing in here. So that's another option too. But again, the more access he has to more toys to get out, the more he tends to get them all out at one time and then whines and complains when it is time to clean up. And I want him to learn to be responsible for his toys. So I am trying to teach him. We will see. So here we are moving into another day and I have been finding myself just overwhelmed a lot lately. I've talked about that a little bit. Holidays, just more things going on, you know, just there's just a lot going on I feel like at the end of the year I know so many of you guys can relate to this and so I needed a space that just felt calming to me and kind of that just safe haven um, amongst some of the chaos in the house there's just different spots of chaos all over the place and for me my bedroom was feeling very chaotic because there were clothes everywhere that were clean that just needed to be folded and put away and I was just struggling to keep on top of that so today my goal literally for this day was to clean up the bedroom get the clothes put away and do a quick clean in our bathroom so that is what we are tackling today so if you have laundry you need to put away or you want your bedroom to feel better and like a haven as well that you can retreat to in the evenings, then get up with me and let's get our bedrooms in order, get our beds made, clothes put away, and just get it feeling like more of a retreat when you are ready to call it an evening at the end of the day. And if you're wondering what I am doing with that tiger <laughs> blanket at the end of the bed. That is simply there because my feet have been getting cold and I just love the feel of that throw blanket. I know it doesn't match anything, but I don't care. I grab it in the evenings and just drape my feet in it and I love it. So I just folded it and threw it at the end of the bed and don't care that it does not match anything in my bedroom. <laughs>
friends in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you I want to hear you say yeah just literally needed to have things put away where they belonged in their home and then adjust a good surface clean. I had already deep cleaned the shower the week before and as you guys have probably heard me say before, I hate cleaning the shower so it does not get done as often as it should but I gave it a really good deep cleaning the week before. And then our bathtub, I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, it literally just collects dust. Nobody takes a bath in that bathtub. My kids use their bathtub, which is super easy to clean. This one is super deep. It's got the jetted tubs and, and all of that, but we just never use it. It's just, it's wasted on us. We all shower and my daughter, she comes in here and she showers as well. So nobody uses that bathtub. So what do you do with a bathtub that just sits there and collects the dust? Anybody have anything creative they've done in their bathrooms with a bathtub that gets unused? We are just not 
soakers and that's just not my relax my form of relaxation nor my husband's so it just it just doesn't get used but anyways we are just getting this tidied up and then I do get to the floors in here but my camera died before I was able to film that so you do not see me use my wet dry Tenco vacuum but I will get to the floors as well just getting this tidied up feeling fresh and ready to go and then we are going to move into the final day where I do my final D cluttering project and we will be done with this week's video hopefully leaving you with tons of cleaning motivation to tackle any of the spaces in your home toys junk drawers you name it you should be walking away ready to tackle it today <laughs> Looking towards the new year and planning content and wanting to always be serving you guys and making content that encourages and motivates you I want to know what do you want to see more of do you like more talking more step-by-steps of my process of decluttering organizing cleaning do you want to know about more products less products what is it you want to see more of and less of in the new year? I make these videos for you guys and I want your feedback. So let me know in the comments below. What do you want to see more of in 2024? And what do you find most helpful and encouraging from my content? This quite simply has probably been the worst. My sink has been in a bit. <laughs> so this is what I am tackling first. I just wanted to show it to you guys as well as this. I, I, I am feeling the overwhelm daily and I know I am not alone with this. I, it, it's a lot. So we are just gonna, I'm just gonna set a timer like I do and I'm gonna push through this. I'm hoping to do this and then tackle one junk drawer over there. That is my goal for the day. I That's even very lofty. For right now with the time I have left with my baby getting ready to wake up and having to go get my kids. This is remnants of yesterday. And um, we had a busy night. My kids had their Christmas program. We just, I fed them early. Got them ready. We rushed out the door. I was exhausted when we came in. Nobody touched the dishes. And we went straight up to bed. And I didn't even unload the dishwasher. So we're going to tackle this. Now... And like I said, I, I need this for tonight, but I am feeling completely overwhelmed to the point of wanting to shut down. So I want you guys to know that if you've got a sink like this or something, you're not alone. But you know what? You know, one thing at a time, one step at a time. Let's set a timer and let's get after it.
If you have made it this far into my video, thank you so much for sticking with me today. Would you drop a Christmas tree emoji in the comments below? I love to know who is here all the way through, sticking through to the end. It just helps me to know that you are liking this content and what I need to do more of, less of, all the things, and it lets YouTube know that you are interacting with my channel and that you like this content. So drop a Christmas tree emoji below if you have stuck with me this far and again thank you so much for sticking with me I was able to do that really a lot quicker than I thought and I still have nine, nine and a half minutes left. All right friends, y'all saw what that looked like. This took a lot less time than I thought and I find myself putting that off and it really didn't take me all that long. I mean, this is almost full, but that'll be perfect for our dinner dishes. And do I need to clean the sink? Do I need to do other things? Yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to train myself, especially during the holidays, and hoping it will bleed over into everything else. You know, grace and not perfection. Better than perfect. <laughs> it's better to have something done than perfect. I also have a little chicken noodle soup going over here on the stove. May make up some Cheddar Bay biscuits. Okay. This is where we're going next. And my baby is up, but he is playing upstairs. We reach in this drawer 20 times a day, can you tell? I redo this drawer at least probably once, if not twice a year. I should probably do it more. So my goal today, this usually is one of those that doesn't take near as long as you think. I just need to tidy it up, get any excess out and just get it back in order because I you know I use the lighters for my candles and I'm looking for scissors and gift wrap tape so I need to tidy this up so that is what we're doing next all right I just wanted to show you my timer is going off and I didn't get anything done on this because I had to go grab my littlest son and change his diaper and get him going I've got him going on an activity right now, so I'm still going to try and do this because I have a little less than an hour before my big kids get home, and this is kind of what I have to do. Earlier, I had things going, and I needed to rest, and so I had to slow down and rest. Um, just sometimes you've got to listen to your body with things, and so I had to rest a little bit earlier, and I didn't get the things done I wanted to do get done, so now I'm trying to get it done before I have to get my kids. And then we go to gymnastics and all the things. So I still think I can tackle this drawer before we leave. So that is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm not putting a timer on this one, but I did on the dishes just because I needed that. I have a timer going now because I know when I need to leave for to go get my kids from school. So we'll just see where we get from here on out. 
first things first with a project like this, it's going to get worse before it gets better. I say that a lot. I am going to have to pull everything out. So I'm going to have to clear some space here. We're getting a little catch all things going. Things are in places they shouldn't be, but um, I'm going to move some stuff so I can use this space right here um, to get to organizing. talk when I do these organizing videos that you don't have to have this stuff. There's certain spaces that these types of things really do make sense. I always find a lot of things at like TJ Maxx. I've had this for years. Never even took the price tag off. But for me, this works better than this, like being open. Like if everything was just thrown in here, it would be chaos. So these type things do really help in like a drunk drawer catch-all drawer type thing to provide some structure and divide between items. This one kind of the same thing. I believe this one may have been, yep, TJ Maxx. Whoops. TJ Maxx as well. And then also I always tell you guys to use what you have. This was an old puzzle box. A little magnet, magnet box but it helps contain things. So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect or matching or anything. Just find what you have. And if you can't afford to go get these things, maybe you've got some things like this laying around or you could make dividers or use Tupperware or things like that. Just find some way to contain the items within your drawer that make it make sense. And it doesn't have to look like anyone else's and who cares if it's aesthetically pleasing if it works for you and your family. This works, it just gets out of hand from time to time after use, after use, after use, and five little hands in here, then ever so often I do have to come through and redo it, so. What I always like to do when I'm doing this too is clean out the drawer and then I kinda just, I'm using the drawer now, categorizing things and seeing if I can pare down Last year, I did not pare down, let me show you. Last year, I did not pare down my pins and markers and very much should have, so I'm gonna do that this year. So I'm just trying to kind of group things together and make sense of some categories. There are always times where you just, there's things you just don't know where they go. And that's when I usually do a bag or a container and put them inside that because sure as I get rid of it, I know it's something we probably will need, I just don't know where it goes. I throw it in a little kind of catch-all bag. Like this, this is our catch-all bag. Sing choirs of angels Singing exaltation Sing all ye
right, I did it with about 10 minutes to spare. Here is the final product. These couple of items need a different home and need to go somewhere else. So I'm going to put them in different places. They just don't make sense in here or I just didn't need so many pens. I still have quite a few because my kids use dry erase markers. We need permanent markers and some pens, a couple of pencils. But that is a lot thinner than it was. I th threw a couple out that did not work. And then we just kind of tidied this up. So I've just kind of got everything I know we use down here. Push pins, you know, tidied up the tape put it all together. I try to just group things together the way they make sense. Kind of utility type stuff like all the little screwdrivers, Allen wrenches. This is a little tool. Tool here. Then our next play. Remote. We never use it but I like to have it in case I ever did need it. Lens cleaver chapstick. We've got notebooks here and then these prayer cards. I put one of these in my frame. Over there all the time I switch those out. So I always like to keep a bunch of these on hand. These are amazing, by the way, for gifts or just yourself and encouragement. Dollar Tree. You ever want to look into those pair cards. And then just little notebooks, things to doodle, notes or to-do list on are just all kind of right here. This is how it's always been set up. I have some extra stickers right here for my boys to label their things. And I know it's right there. Lighters together. Flashlights together. A set of scissors some extra sticky pads for the bottom of our um, chairs, little felt pads. I have a tape measure in here. This is where we put like chip clips or little clips. They're all being used right now, as well as we've got some extra safety things for our outlets. A couple of extra coasters, a ruler, some more felt pads down there. We, we always have painter's tape on hand. An abnormally large amount of safety pins from when I've done a growing kid sale, but they make sense down here. Our dishwasher is slowly breaking, and these are all the wheels off of it. We're saving them. See if we can put it back together. All these little bags are randoms that I really don't know what they go to or like a set that I want to keep together. They make sense down here, so I'm going to keep them down here, but I just keep them in little bags. This is a whole bunch of random stuff that I don't know what goes to, but like I said earlier, if I get rid of it, we'll be looking for it. All of our Chuck E. Cheese card bands, we have a million. <laughs> stapler and then this is um, some extra coffee pot organizers to my organizer that holds all our coffee pods over there so there is our junk drawer not that you needed to know what all that was but I just wanted to kind of walk through it with you in case this helps you with your junk drawer and that did not take me all that long and now I am going to get ready and go pick up my big kids from school I hope this gave you some motivation and some ideas to just go tackle one drawer in your house today. Thank you so much for tuning in today, friends. I hope you are enjoying decluttering your way to Christmas with me this holiday season. And on your way out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss next Friday's video as we continue to declutter. And until next week, friends, take care. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and in today's video I am giving you all the motivation to get yourself prepped and ready to go into Christmas. I cannot believe it is even upon us. This video is several different days where I'm just doing a couple of things here and there. All the kids are home. It is mass chaos. We had a very long week last week and I will explain kind of what happened and our little scare that we had. I'll explain it later in the video. So we're just trying to get our life back in order after all of that happening last week and we're just trying to get things ready I am trying to get a station set up for wrapping and getting all the gifts wrapped I've barely wrapped anything so we are trying to get that done I am decluttering an area in my kitchen that has been driving me nuts so I will share that with you guys and we are just getting as many things as we can done heading into the holiday season so we are feeling good so hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up grab your to-do list and let's start at it.
go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Well, this day I was going in to my youngest room and I was stripping all of his sheets, trying to dust his room and just kind of get it in order. So backstory, last week, this has just a, been a very rough sick season for our family, mainly for my two little boys. And my youngest has gotten hit the hardest with just respiratory issues that we've never dealt with with any of our other kids before. And without going into too much detail, basically, we ended up having to take him into the hospital. He had low oxygen. And we spent several days and nights in the hospital with my youngest, just trying to get his oxygen level where it needed to be. And it was just, it was a very nerve wracking time to say the least. So I was just trying to get things back in order after having been out of our home for several days. It was just a lot of stress on our family and it was nerve wracking and they were just, it, he didn't have RSV or anything like that, but they're calling it respiratory, no, reactive airway disorder, which is just some respiratory distress. He'd had it earlier, like a couple months ago, but we didn't have to be completely hospitalized. We were able to go to the emergency room and then be released, but this time he had, his oxygen was low, and it was just a very scary thing, so I don't know if any of you guys have dealt with that with your kids before, but it was very nerve-wracking, but at the hospital they mentioned you know just making sure to keep his room dusted and just keeping the dust down in your house and just things that I I need tangible things that I can do to not feel so helpless with some of these situations so I was like I can clean his sheets and I can do all of these things I even went so far as to, to think maybe it was his detergent um I had been using gain and it does have a strong scent so I kind of went down that rabbit hole I've spoken with his doctor his doctor did not seem to think that that was an issue at all but I still can't help but notice. I would love to know you guys' thoughts. And I am kind of doing some experimenting on my own right now. And just kind of watching what I wash his clothes in. Just to see. He was not having any skin reactions or anything like that. But just the respiratory thing. And his doctor said typically respiratory issues do not come from things like scents and detergents and things like that. He said, never say never. But anyway, so we've just been dealing with all of that. So I was just really trying to vacuum his room, get all, you know, get it dusted and do all of those things. So that is what I am doing on this day. And I am just this whole week, just trying to catch up from being out of commission for several days with my littlest son. So that is what we are doing in today's video throughout the entire video you will see me in several different outfit outfits especially so many times that i circle back around to my favorite sweater you will probably notice that as well but this was filmed probably over four or five days and then my kids are all home so i am literally doing this voiceover in my laundry room and it is chaotic and it is crazy and it is stressful and who is with me can you give me your best stressed out emoji in the comments below i love the upside Upside down smiley face or the one with the tongue stuck out but anyways this was their last day of school they have unloaded their backpacks and what I always have my kids do like on holidays and breaks come in unload your backpack I may even wash their backpacks before it is all said and done just to disinfect things and they took all their papers out and we put them away in these file memory boxes that I have for them we put those papers in there periodically throughout the year and then at the end of the year we'll go through it and find what they truly want to keep and I make them weed it down even further so we are just getting things in order on this last day when my kids came home for Christmas break you, mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with you 
this was a bit of a sad moment. It's one of those milestone moments. This little bottle rack dryer that we had used for, you know, bottles, sippy cups, all the things. It has just been sitting here, and now it collects our medicine cups for all of our allergy medicines or any medicines that the kids take. And I think it was just, it was time to remove it and let it go. So I was washing it up and getting ready to donate it. And then I was going to put my um, fruit bowl over in that area and see if that kind of helped clear off the bar. I had recently read from somebody I follow on decluttering that, you know, clutter attracts clutter. And if you want clutter to go to a different area, maybe move things over to that area so I thought maybe if I move the fruit bowl over here things will kind of collect over there that belong over there kind of like cups and things like that instead of collecting over in the middle of the bar in that disaster zone so anyways but I know you guys can understand if you've been through these stages if you have kids where little things leaving your house that just remind you of the baby days and the baby phase and just kind of getting that kind of cleaned up and moved out. It was just kind of a, I just needed to have a moment. So I thought I would share that with you guys because I'm sure you can relate. And then on to laundry because it is the chore that absolutely never, ever, ever ends. Y'all all right down there? Very hard with all the kids home to do anything. Okay, here's round one. And all of this needs to be refluffed, and I need to go grab my sheets. So I'm gonna swap, grab my sheets out of the dryer, and put this in the dryer to refluff. Refluffed, here we go. Okay, let's see thinking you were made for me isn't in my birthday yet cause i gotta say you're looking like a gift for me wrapped up nice and neat baby get in my way now don't be shy we'll be here dancing day and night get in my groove now don't be shy cause i got the system my favorite things you could be the part where it all begins you could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Do a lot, like everything that has a cherry on top. Get on my 
things that I love are fresh clean sheets. I love a good fabric spray once you've made your bed and I also love having some type of a robot vacuum in our bedroom now. Now that we have our vac mop combo downstairs from Pretty Care, I moved my shark vac robot upstairs and I love cleaning my room and then just letting that thing run. And also I love getting <laughs> all of these cobwebs off. We keep our fans running all the time in our homes, so it is very easy for us to have that dust accumulate on those fans because they're never not on. So I was just going in and making sure to get all the dust off all the fans because again, I was trying to stay on top of these things and help keep some of this respiratory stuff at bay. I hope by doing some of the things that I can control, there's so much that is out of our control with these types of things, but the things I can control, I am trying to stay on top of and dusting the fans and vacuuming more often and all of the things, using all the robots to help me vacuum in between vacuuming. Everything I can do, I am trying to do to help our family be healthier. And then I am coming in here in our dining room and just trying to clear off this table so that I can use it for kind of my wrapping station. So I was just trying to clear everything off that didn't need to be in here that had accumulated over the, the past couple of weeks. And then kind of vacuuming, getting it cleaned up, and then getting the... Um, wrapping paper and everything out and set up and I have wrapped just a handful of gifts and this is working out really nice so that is what I am doing just getting it all tidied up and ready to wrap all the Christmas gifts. I've gone down a rabbit hole. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Is this priority right now? Probably not. I am pulling some things out of, this is kind of where I can store extra china and place settings and things like that. So I've got an idea of wanting to use these and come over here. I am wanting to declutter down here, shift some of these decor pieces down, make this actually look nice. We've got a little bar side here and then just, it's gotten to the point where I didn't even care anymore and I just started shoving things in there. So I need to get this stuff in order and then declutter down here. And I've even shoved decor down here at this point. But this side is where I tried to keep extra decor in pieces. So I am going to try <laughs> and make sense of this, and we are decluttering our way to Christmas. This has been bothering me forever, and I'm just tackling it today. I, I wasn't going to. I started in the dining room, just getting that ready, and it is ready for wrapping. I just That's what I wanted to do is clear the table off. These are gifts and things, and I just wanted to kind of clear the table and be able to wrap in here. Um, I cleared that off. I'm just going to try and... 
just go down this rabbit hole, but it will also be decluttering my kitchen. So I'm going to jump into it and let's pray it goes well. <laughs> I am already overwhelmed. This doesn't look like a lot, but I just don't know. There's some things that are easy I knew I was going to get rid of and donate. And some things I'm just like, what do I do? Or where do I put it? Where should it live? This is always a big thing with decluttering is finding homes for things. If you do want to keep them, that makes sense. And there's a few things like this shelf liner. I don't know that it makes sense in here. I mean, I know where it is. But I don't know if it makes sense in here or if it, maybe it should go in my laundry room. So I'm trying to decide on that. And then I've got a handful of things I know I want to declutter or throw away. And then what I'm wanting to do is kind of get up here and see what I want gone or down, maybe lower down here. What I was, here's my vision. This was kind of my party supply side for when I was hosting. I put things over here, and then I tried to put like extra decor over here, but then it all just kind of got mix matched and stuff. So that's what I'm wanting to do, and then just make this look visually a little more pleasing, a little more aesthetically pleasing when you look at it. Because right now it's a junk, it's a junk drawer with clear, <laughs> with clear doors, which is the worst of all. <laughs> it's cold outside. Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, Everything will be okay Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin I
For this particular decluttering project, it was more about moving things where they needed to go and decluttering the visual clutter of this space. I didn't get rid of, and you'll see in the end, that much stuff, but sometimes for me, decluttering isn't always the amount of things going out, but the amount of things that maybe are visually out. So like moving all of that stuff for hosting didn't need to be over here in these clear shelves. They needed to be somewhere else. So moving those and then creating this space. This just has made me so happy. I love looking at it and I may continue to tweak it and you'll watch me tweak it all throughout the end of this till I get it to where I want it and I encourage you to do that mess with things play around with it and then sit with it for a while and then you know change it as you see what works and just it's it's kind of a puzzle that doesn't always come together quickly but like I said with decluttering just know that sometimes it's not a volume of things going out of your house but finding maybe better homes for them where it doesn't stress you out visually this was stressing me out visually and I cannot tell you the relief this brought that may sound crazy to you but I just wanted to encourage you that sometimes with decluttering if you only get two three four five six pieces that is something and I did I was able to declutter several pieces but this wasn't a high volume declutter for this particular space but that is okay
here, but I'm wondering if I should move the brown bowls. I'm not sure, I'm just debating some things. Then I kind of just switched the bar area over here and I'm struggling with the glasses. I liked these just to bring a pop of that color and it's got a lot of the blue. I'm wondering if that kind of, this side is a little bit tricky. And then any empty bottles or extra besides the two in the back, you know, those are more, they're anniversary things that were given to my husband and we've just never opened them, but they kind of give a little depth back there. I don't know. And then, let's see if I can get them. This just kind of happened when the camera went off and I'm like, don't hate it. And I could take these off, these paper covers, cause they've got blue spines. Cause I'm just trying to kind of pull the blue, a hint of copper and wood, you know, and, and a bit of the silver in there and then I've got you know the crystal which I moved most of my crystal out I could maybe even center up this board just kind of showing you the interim here I'm trying to decide what to do here Ooh, I have an idea hold on okay so this is where we're at this was a bit of a declutter it was also I'm not getting rid of near as many thing as many things as I had hoped but I got new homes for them or I, I did declutter some or threw a few things away. So let's go ahead and just show you what it looks like now. So I got rid of a couple of things with this, but this is just, this is kind of just my little extra decor up here or like these little, um, uh, la, la, I can't wait, lambrage. They have their little uh, like essential oil, like oil burners. And then some of this stuff will go back out once Christmas is down. I've got one or two seasonal things, a couple candles, my balloon thing, my balloon pump I use all the time. Trying to decide on this bunny. If I use them this year, I will keep them. If I don't, I won't. May be decluttering this. That's a little fake succulent that's inside of another vase that's white. These will come back out when Christmas is done. These are kind of like my little seasonal garden flags and things. I've got some little form things that you can uh, put flowers in to arrange flowers. And then my little bunnies up there. And that is it. So this is kind of like just seasonal type things that rotate in and out. And then this is more of like my hosting side. So you've got the little cake stands and um, just different stands and things, an extra candle holder. These two boxes are empty, but I'm just, I don't know why I'm holding on to them. Maybe I need to get rid of those too. I had the space for my little drink decanters. And then these little extra shelf liners, they're just kind of a long angle, so they don't fit everywhere. So I just put them back here. They were on this side, but there was a little extra room over here. So I did that. Then I did move some things up here, out of here. So some things did come up here and I'm using them as decor now. So I think I got rid of anything I did not want. I pulled out a couple of things like this stuff was over in that cabinet and I will show you that cabinet in a minute. And then just things, I just used what I had already and just kind of rotated around, repurposed it. Some of this stuff was just put away and what isn't getting used. I also pulled and I need to get in here and kind of fix this my little china cabinet. Um, I put a few things, I had these extra candlesticks, crystal candlesticks from our wedding that we were given. I've never used them much. So that is something I may be decluttering. It's harder to declutter some things than others. But for now, I've got a space for them. I kinda need to revamp this, but again, with my blues, I pulled a dish from in here to use. Um, in these two spaces right here. I pulled my little tray. It was in there. And then I put, well, I'll show you this. The tray that was on the dining table, just kind of as a placeholder, I moved it here. This was in my kitchen, I moved it here. Ouch, tripping over stuff. Kind of just repurposing things. I know these flowers are way, not in season right now, but I just love hydrangeas and I just never take those down really. Okay, then let me show you. So I moved, if you remember, there was tons of dishes here. 
um, for hosting. I'm not going to get rid of that stuff because it is my mother's. She gave it to me and we both go back and forth using it. I just moved it over here, which made a whole lot more sense on um, this. I just used for extra overflow china and hosting things and i have hosted baby showers and birthday parties so this stuff i don't use all the time but i didn't want to get rid of it so i just moved it over here for now these are just things that even when you're decluttering and minimal you know i have hosted showers and i have hosted birthday parties in the past several years and love doing that stuff so i do want to have these things on hand but i just don't need them every day so i moved them over here kind of all together, an extra barware. This was a wedding gift. So I think I'm gonna put it, this is another space I need to declutter. I'm gonna move it. So I just kind of moved things around, <laughs> but I do plan to try to get up here and declutter some, but I may stop here today. So that's kind of, and then this stuff is being donated, this whole pile right here. So I did get some stuff donated, but not as much as I would have loved. <laughs> so much for watching today friends I know your time is valuable and precious so thank you for spending a little bit of it with me I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already we are going to continue to declutter and get our homes feeling lighter and stress-free as we go on into the new year so you're not going to want to miss any of that content from my family to yours have a very Merry Christmas. Have a safe holiday and enjoy your family and friends and that special time together. And then come back next week because we will continue on this decluttering journey together. Until next week, friends, take care and Merry Christmas. Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Anna and are y'all ready again after last week's video? Are y'all ready again to be motivated to do some cleaning, some organizing, some decorating? We even do a mini makeover in this video and then we are going to be switching out some light fixtures in one of my rooms and I want y'all to see if you can spot which room we did it in and I will reveal maybe at the end which room it was but I want you to keep an eye out for it. We're doing all the all the things this week in today's video and it's going to take place over several days because again just working in those pockets of time so if you're needing that motivation today get your coffee get you some laundry get your decorations and let's get after it together today Something that has really leveled up our Christmas game is the smart plugs that I am showing you guys and they work with like our Apple Home Kit or I think they work with Alexa and a lot of different systems but we can just use voice command and say hey certain name will you turn on the, you know the Christmas tree or turn on the mantle or whatever you want her to turn on and you can label it and she will turn it on and off this has been game changing I am not going around unplugging all of the lights, I can just say, hey, blah, 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 turn off the mantle, turn off the Christmas tree, turn off the blue tree, whatever it is. And I have these plugs all over our downstairs and it has been so nice. So I will link them in the description box below in case you are wanting to put some more ease into your Christmas decorating game. I, I just personally love this. I hate trying to climb behind the Christmas tree and plug and plug it back in and do all of that. Now all I have to do is a voice command to my person and she turns it on and off for me and I love it.
special little story about these ornaments on the mantle that I wanted to share with you guys because I always think about it as I put this garland out every year is those little ornaments came from my husband and I's first year married in our first little bitty teeny apartment out in the Baltimore DC area and we had this little live Charlie Brown tree it is all that would fit in our tiny apartment it was a one bedroom apartment our laundry room was also our kitchen there was a washer and dryer right there in our kitchen I could have something on the stove and turn around and be switching a load of laundry but it just always reminds me of those early times in our marriage all those years ago our beginnings and I just think it's fun that I still have those little ornaments that came on the tree when you bought it at like Lowe's or Home Depot it came on that live tree and we had two or three of those before we moved out of that little one bedroom apartment into a two bedroom when we had our first child on the way but it just always reminds me of those special time you know when things were life was really simple and our lives together were just beginning and we just had room barely for one little bitty Christmas tree in our one bedroom apartment out in Maryland and I just love remembering that every year as I put those up and that we still have those ornaments from that time. Then you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall Then you know it's Christmas for the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful times we witness Forever stays with us Soon Rudolph fears his wisdom and gathers all his friends. When Santa in his missing wraps the final gift, you know it's time for Christmas for each and every one. of getting fall down, Christmas up, and all the other things going on, why not go ahead and tackle a little mini light makeover in our living room? <laughs> so this room, as you can probably tell, I'm hoping you can see kind of how dim it is in this room. It was driving us nuts. That is the only light in there besides the one that's over the pictures above the fireplace. So we wanted to switch out that um, fan that was not our taste and it had come with the house and we were ready to switch that out plus we just wanted some more light in here the pianos in here you couldn't even see the sheet music or anything so my husband did what he did in the family room and if you missed that video I will leave it linked below and show you kind of a more in-depth process but he just installed some can lights and then took out that big huge eyesore in the middle of the room and installed a more simple fan that's just like the one in our family room. It's actually the one from our family room. We got a bigger one for the family room. Put the smaller one in here. Isn't this amazing what the difference lights make? I just can't get over it. This room is so bright. You can actually see and you can dim the lights and I will try to link everything that my husband used in the description box below in case you are interested, but I just love how that turned out. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, just a little mini light makeover, but it makes such a huge impact. 
Now we are going into another day. My daughter is very much like me, and after a certain time of things piling up or getting out of hand, she wants to declutter, reorganize, and kind of redo stuff. So this is me in here helping her, but kind of letting her lead the charge. And she wanted to just kind of redo her closet just a little bit, reorganize it, kind of move some things around. We got rid of some stuff as well. So this is just kind of me helping her one day during a weekend when everybody was home. So you'll see a couple people coming in and out and it was kind of chaotic but we do get this done and you'll see listen for her sweet comment when it's all done what she says and I think it is so true for kids when they get their space organized and well um, like the way they want it and everything in a place what comes out of my daughter's mouth I think is so true for kids most of the time. Would you like to see you want all your Barbie stuff together? Yeah. Do you want this here? Or do you want to try to put these here and your dolls and things? How do you want how do you see it? Oh yeah, I want to try it like on the show.
I had had these artwork picture frames for way too long and had been meaning to get them hung up. So my husband came in and got them hung up on this day while we were working in the closet. And now my kiddos, I, I gave them to my older two and they can put their display, you know, display their artwork and switch it out very easily on their own their coloring pages, all the fun stuff that they do. They can display it very easily now in their room and switch it out. And then my kids went with my husband to run some errands and I wanted to finish out this part for my daughter and just give her room a good little cleaning and freshening up because I know she loves when I do that. But she does a really great job of cleaning her room and keeping it nice and tidy and organized herself. So I just come through, you know, switch out the sheets and do some vacuuming and things like that. So I wanted to finish that part out and surprise her when she got home, so that is what we are doing now. here we ran out of time she's gonna go through her little art supplies we didn't really do anything here this was our big project here moved her dolls inside with the blankets rearranged her games from here and then we've got you know, some up here we put a lot of stuff we don't use as much up higher but don't want to get rid of yet. And she just wanted her dolls and she just wanted everything tidied up. This corner had all of her stuffed animals, so she put those in her toy box. Put all her Barbies and doll things here together. Then we got rid of one box. We had two boxes up there, two bins. We got rid of one.
This all came out. This is trash. And then we're going to bag this up all for donations. just popped this piece off of that I just clipped it somehow see my jump door needs a bit of a, a revamp angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joy straight Gloria In it shall see stay
think my two favorite things to get out every year are my snow village, which my mom gave to me and she put out when I was a little girl. And then I love putting up what, this is my blue tree is what I call it. And it has more of the adult, you know, not adult, but just the glass ornaments and the pretty ornaments and the breakable ornaments, which may still not be smart of me to do. But so far my toddler has left it alone, but I love uh, this blue tree. It's just blue and white and kind of like silver. And that's the only colors. I love the Christmas colors, but I also love a pretty little tree like this. So I put it where you can see it from the front of our house. And it's just a little tree in the window with all my favorite little ornaments. And I just love putting this out every year. So those are always my two favorite things. What are your favorite things to get out every year that just make you happy or take you down memory lane or maybe a little bit of both? My mom just got me this new ornament this year. It's a blue nutcracker. And I love blue and I love nutcrackers. So this is always a fun Little, I love getting just new little nutcrackers. I like to have them, but I don't like too many of them. I don't, I wouldn't say I fully, full blown collect them, but I do like the nutcrackers. I don't know. I love the nutcracker. I love going and seeing that. That's also a kind of a nostalgic thing. This is a pretty little handmade ornament and head, hand drawn ornament from Vienna. My parents brought me from one of their trips. But then here are my crystal ornaments. Those are not breakable, but everything else on the tree is. So like I said, last year, I don't think I put anything really on the tree. I just kind of left it pretty bare. Um, but this year I'm getting a little more daring, <laughs> especially with a wild toddler on the loose, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah.
Thank you so much for watching today. I know that when this video goes out, it's a holiday weekend here in the United States. It is Black Friday. It is the day after Thanksgiving. And I know that there could be so many different things you could be doing with your time. So thank you so much for taking a couple of moments to spend with me. If you haven't already, would you like and subscribe to my channel and share it with a friend who might like this kind of content that might find some encouragement or motivation from it. In case you haven't noticed already, Already, I like to keep it very simple in general, but even at the holidays, I'm just not, I'm not super extravagant with my decorations, but that's just kind of what I like. And I encourage you guys to do what you like. It's so easy to get caught up in, well, my, my decorations aren't as pretty or over the top or expensive or, you know, all of these things, all of this comparison game. It's so easy to get caught up in that in this day and age. And I encourage you to just find what makes you happy and brings joy to your family and your home. And that is what you do. Don't look around. Don't look left or right or compare yourself to anyone else. Do what works for you. That's why I love sharing this content. I show you what works for me. It doesn't have to work for you. And I want you to know and step into that, that that is okay. Do what makes sense for your family and your life and what brings you joy. And don't worry about anything else. So I hope that encourages you guys today. And I hope you get a lot done. Thank you so much for watching again. And I will see you guys next week. Take care.